send me some sorry lines But passion undying That the oceans can Hi everybody, welcome to Polymer Clay TV. Today we're talking about a product called Glimmer Mists. And Glimmer Mists is a water-based product and it comes in like a zillion different colors. <laughs> so you can find a variety. They come in this small size and they come in a larger size. So you can pick the colors that you really like and get them larger or you can get smaller bottles for the colors that you don't use all that much. One of the things that I did find out when I was working with these is that this red velvet color just did not work well. It's, it's got a lot of color in it and it tended to run because this is water based. What happened was I fired it and then I went to add future floor wax to it and when I did that it just made the color just all blend into one and smear. So it was not effective and it wasn't, a, it wasn't the best color to use. So I would stay away from the really dark colors because you, you probably will have that effect with most of the dark colors. Although this color is, ha is, is called Tiger Lily and it has like a gold color and that worked really well. And the pearl worked really well. It was just this one red velvet that I had trouble with. Mm -hmm. And this is actually a pendant that I used it on. This I didn't use it on here. I, I used the red on here, but I didn't use the future wax on here. So this is what it looks like before I added anything to it, and this is the way it's supposed to be. But when I, when I did add the future wax to another piece like this, all these colors blended all together. So it didn't work out. <laughs> so stay away from that color. So this here is a piece I just, I just sprayed some on. It's not completely dry. And what I did was I took plain black clay, rolled it out on my pop, through my pasta machine. You can do it whatever thickness you want. And then I just came in and sprayed the glimmer mist on it. And depending on what direction and how much you spray, you get a different effect. So play around with it and you'll have fun. And this is, this is one we did in, that we're doing in polymer clay classroom. And I show you how to do the glimmer mist and then come back and add silk screen to it for a really cool look. And these are some pieces that we made for earrings and showed how these are made with cookie cutters and you can you can do it with the drop dropping or with, with it at top. Here's a, a leaf I made. Here's another leaf. Here's some other designs with the dragonfly with the glimmer mist on it first and then the dragonfly added over. Here's another one with some swirls designs on it and I've used actually used, I think, the tiger lily and another color on there. And here's some green dragonflies. And this one I definitely used the tiger lily on. So I sprayed that on first, let it dry, and then came back and silk screened. And uh, it's an easy technique, and almost anyone can do it. So like, Kira's going to show you another thing that she made with it so you can get some ideas of other things you can make besides jewelry. I have a problem at work, and the problem is if I leave water in a vase or a cup, it will be filled with ants the next day. <laughs> For some reason in my office, the ants can smell water from a mile away, so I cannot put real flowers in a vase. So I was thinking it would be nice if I could make myself some polymer clay flowers for this pretty little green vase that I have. So then we were trying to think of things to do with our glimmer mists, and I thought it would be great to do some flowers with shimmery droplets on the petals. So what I did is I used Studio by Sculpey Clay because it retains its shape when you bake it and I rolled this out to a three and I, all, I have one of the studio tools which is this um, stainless steel ball stylus and what I did is I just cut out the shape of a leaf or a petal And when you hold this in your hand, you roll this ball along the edges and they start to wrinkle up. So you're really trying to like flatten them out. And you can either roll them away from you or towards you to get whatever effect you want. And then to make it look even more flowery, petally, you can actually roll down the middle and cause it to bend. So then you can lay it and it'll stay like that when you bake it. So 
In order to make my flower, I laid six of them around in a circle, and then I came back and I sprayed them with two different colors of glimmer mist, just, just the petals in a circle, and I baked them. And then I put this little funky thing in the middle, which is another color in a spiral, and I used my etch and pearls which look like this. They've got like a little dent on the back to make these little bumps. And then I took a piece of 18 gauge floral wire that's wrapped in cotton thread and I bent a little swirly hook at the end and I just laid it on the back of my flower and took a blob of clay and stuck it there and I baked the whole thing for the 30 minutes so that it would be nice and hard and now I have a pretty little flower with glimmery petals that I can put in my vase at work and it doesn't need water and these glimmer mists come from mytatteredangels.com and we'll put a link to that in the show notes Send me some sorry lines But passion undying That the oceans can't subside The storm blew from behind 